There's over 100 million exit signs in the United States, and the vast majority of those exit signs are electric exit signs. Today we're going to take you through all the different types of electric exit signs and then also talk about a couple of the alternative type of non-electric exit signs that are available. So let's start with the oldest type of technology out there with exit signs, and that is the old incandescent bulbs. Believe it or not, there's still quite a bit of these out there in the market space right now. The problems with incandescents is number one, they use a lot of electricity. Matter of fact, on average, an incandescent light bulb in an exit sign will use up to 350 kilowatt hours per year. That, that equates to about $28 of electric charge per exit sign. If you've got hundreds upon hundreds of exit signs, you can see how that electrical expense can get pretty intense. In addition to that, that electrical offset is generating 574 pounds of carbon dioxide. So if you're a large factory or a large corporation and you're using those old incandescent exit signs, think about all that carbon dioxide that's unnecessarily making its way into the environment. The other challenge with incandescent light bulbs is they only last for about 2.8 months on average. So you're constantly replacing those bulbs. Not only the cost of the bulb, but also the cost of somebody else that has to get rid of them. And then the thing that I find most concerning is those bulbs eventually have to go into a landfill. And so they, there's a lot of waste that goes into our environment. The newer type of technology that's out there is compact fluorescent light bulbs. And there's still quite a bit of these that are out there. Now the good news about the compact fluorescent light bulbs, they only use about 140 kilowatt hours per year of electricity. That equivalent, that's equivalent to about 230 pounds of carbon dioxide. Still a lot of carbon dioxide that's unnecessarily going into our environment, a lot of electricity. Uh, that 140 kilowatt hours of those compact fluorescent light bulbs ends up costing you about $11 per year. And the average lifespan of a compact fluorescent light bulb is about 10.8 months. So again, less than once a year going to be going out there and replacing that. Now the newest technology in exit lights is LED. Now the beauty of LED technology is it uses significantly less energy. It drops all the way down to 44 kilowatt hours per year. That's a minimal amount. That ends up costing between four to eight dollars of electrical charge a year and only has about 72 pounds of carbon dioxide offset. However, it's still electric. It's still burning up electricity. It's still causing carbon dioxide offset. And those light bulbs eventually do make their way into a landfill. So it's not a, it's not a zero waste to landfill uh, type of product that's out there. The other concern around LEDs, there's a lot of talk about how long LEDs last. And they do last longer than compact fluorescent incandescents. But the challenge with LED lighting technology is that, especially in exit signs, they're left on 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. As a result, they tend to get really hot, and that capacitor that causes that um, LED technology to work will start to fade over time. So with compact fluorescent and incandescent light bulbs where they'll pop and then they'll go out, LED light bulbs will tend to gradually fade over time. Usually after about a two, maybe even a three year time period, if you're lucky, that LED exit sign's not gonna be generating enough light to be visible and pass the fire code tests that are out there. Then we move into radio luminescent technology. This technology is rare, but we do see it out there. And that is actually uses a nuclear gas called tritium or radium to actually glow in the dark when the power goes off. The benefits of this technology is they can be used in complete darkness. They don't need an external light source. The problem is it's, it's nuclear material. If one of those signs were to crack or chip or get broken, you're at a minimum of about a $100,000 cleanup fee. You usually have to quarantine that area for over 30 days as they do air quality testing. And any type of inventory that you may have out there um, would usually have to be destroyed. So the risks and the dangers of those radioluminescent tritium exit signs is pretty significant. Tritium exit signs usually only last for about 10 years. So if you do happen to have them in your facility, make sure you test that testing uh, date on it because after that 10 year period, they no longer work. But there's a better type of technology that beats all of these other four that I talked about, and that is photoluminescent technology like what LumaWare makes. The benefits of photoluminescent technology is they never need batteries, they never need light bulbs, they never need electricity, they never need testing, and they use very, very safe glow in the dark material. As a result, these signs are guaranteed with LumWare for 25 years, even though we, they have a lifetime expectancy. They save you a lot of money. They're great for the environment. They contributed to the zero to landfill initiatives that you may have out there. And the beauty with LumWare is not only all these products made in America by a veteran founded company that started as a firefighter, but all these materials are made by the Cincinnati Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. I think it's really beautiful that you have people that can't see 
are making products to help those of us that can see find our way out of the darkness.